like, you know, like, uh, like what's his name? Like David Attenborough. Yeah, exactly. Where are we, Josh? We are somewhere in the heart of the great lands of the Grampians. This mysterious land was uninhabited. Oh, don't even know. Um, so Hall's Gap is just over there, and this is local footy over or cricket ground or whatever. And poor cricket players probably have to clean the field every week because these, these kangaroos are just sitting over there, pooping all over. Let's get closer. Okay, we're gonna get closer. Try not to scare them all. Right. These are just uh, the southern grey kangaroos, which are the most common grey kangaroos in Victoria. I'm pretty sure in Australia, although you do get other types up north. And you see, they, they've just noticed this. they're all sticking their heads up now. It's also one of the smallest types of kangaroo, but they can run pretty fast. Oh, wow. Kangaroos can't actually walk, can they? They can only sort of like do that shuffle hop. They it's, can't. They can do that shuffle hop. No, no, they. But hips. they can't actually. They're 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 codependent. They can't like use one foot and then the other. No, their hips do not work separately. They both feet at the same time. Also, their their knees kind of bend backwards, so mm -hmm. it's it's very difficult. Very difficult for them. Okay. But then a large kangaroo, an adult kangaroo, can can just do a single hop of up to ten meters. Ten meters. Ten meters. A single hop. At like top speed though. Yeah. Okay. Ten meters. Okay. I'm going to try to get close. In a stealthy way and not a James Bondy kind of way, Josh. James Bond is stealthy. Yeah, I know, but you kangaroo poop. But you're looking at kangaroo poop, really. It's everywhere. We're gonna have to clean this up. So I stay in focus. So the problem with this is I am used to being able to feed kangaroos out of my hand because, well, I did that in the Australian Zoo. But now I'm going to assume because I'm in a similar situation. I'm on holiday. Oh, look, there's a mother. She's got a joey in her pouch. Big fat one. Maybe, maybe she's just a little, little hefty. We shouldn't assume. If we did that with humans, everything would go horribly awry. They try to like kick you and just itchy. back off. I don't want to punch me. Yeah. I don't want to kick me. They can support their whole body weight on their tail. I know. Oh, and there's a baby. Can you see the baby? I can see there's it. something sticking out of the... You see the tail sticking out of the pouch of the mother. Yeah, the big dominant male. Just sitting right down there, just lazing in the sun like he owns a place. Well, he pretty much does. <sighs> Now, we've pretty much seen kangaroos. We're familiar with what Catherine and kangaroos looks like. I'm gonna keep this filming, however, just in case, just in case something awesome or terrible happens. We are gonna avoid the big daddy kangaroo because that's probably oh, why. Don't looking behind him. We don't wanna want scare him. I mean, like, I'm gonna get close. Close like the sleeping ones. Oh, it's a baby. Of course, I live in a town. Mill campground. Um, this is the campsite we have chosen. It's not like a uh, camp, but uh, what I what I want you to look is barring Josh right there. Um, barring. Find another person. There is none. Where's Wally or Harold or Emily or anyone? There's literally no one here. We are the only people. We had our complete pick of of the entire thing. And it's gonna be awesome. Hey, and free firewood. 